Indy Mogul. Hey Indy Mogulers, Griffin here. Last week we met our new awesome director, Oliver Mellon, and I warned you, he's a pretty weird guy. And I think you'll see that on today's behind the scenes video. Oliver has already begun production on his sci-fi noir short film, and he shows us how he acquired many of the props and set pieces that he needs to tell his story. Indie mogulers, and especially fans of Backyard Effects, appreciate that when you use household items and scrap materials, it creates a unique look that's often more convincing than special effects. So let's take a look at what Oliver's up to and leave a comment. I want to know what's the most creative item you've ever used or modified to be a prop or set decoration in one of your films. I'm Oliver Mellon and I am Indie Mogul's awesome director of May 2014. For the month of May, I've written a sci-fi noir short film about these green moss planets that align every seven years to signify the singing of the banished siren Lucretia. The story is about four characters and their desperate rat race to find the siren and on the night she sings. I have a very, very awesome cast and crew lined up and they are super excited about the project and they're very excited for you to see the project. <laughs> Well, I want to talk about thematic consistency. Okay, so I will. Identifying the theme, color scheme, and style of the world we're creating for this film enabled us to open our eyes to look for set pieces and props in the trash. Why trash? Because it's free. Because you get that awesome feeling of repurposing something that someone was going to throw away. And you just can't buy trash in stores Let's look at a few props and set pieces that will be used in this Swamp Ash short to see what items were obtained for little or no US dollars world currency USA. This is a set for Lucretia's Swamp. Almost everything was free. Cut and spray painted cardboard, free. Wood for Lucretia's dilapidated dock was free. Net to add layers and texture, free, free, and free. This foliage rock swamp structure that was used in theatrical production was found at a junkyard and borrowed for free. These awesome black sewage pipes found on the side of the road for free. A 20 foot roll of black swamp plastic from Lowe's, $12.99. Ten yards of green polyester for the backdrop from a thrift store for two dollars and this green garden sheet for free on the side of the road. A set piece for an interrogation scene. A satellite dish with a ceiling fan mounted inside of it, both found in the dumpster for free. From the dumpster, free. Seaweed look like foam from the Cape Fear River, free. Large wooden platter from a yard sale, 25 cents. Golden leaves from a thrift store, $1 each. Pure gold vase from a thrift store, $5. A little expensive, but it's pure gold. Aladdin's magic lamp, Free from Jafar's thrift store free box. Here's a tip. Make friends with your local thrift store owners. For instance, these awesome vintage costumes from second time around thrift store would have cost me so much. But, because I got them stoked about the project I was working on, they let me borrow them for free. Another example of utilizing free items is a prop that I built for my latest video, Threadless Freakers. This is the Freak Ray. A device built entirely from free things, from trash cans, dumpsters, and friends. Except for one thing, the plasma plate. A machine that can produce a stream of extremely fast-moving atomic particles. Once you've identified your movie's style and theme, 
There are lots of places you can find free or very, very cheap props and set pieces that make your film thematically consistent. Trash piles, dumpsters, friends giveaway piles, yard sales and thrift stores, all very, very great places to look for props and set pieces. Trash is always free, unless it's the kind you buy. Here is a money-saving technique using this 7.99 clear Tupperware container to obtain an underwater shot. I put it in the pool and put sandbags in so the water came to about there. I also put my feet in there so I could adjust the level using my pressure, the pressure of my feet. I shot the actress swim in front of the Tupperware container underwater and held my camera in my hands so that I could pull the camera out if it got in danger of getting wet. Was that too deep? Oh my god! <laughs> it's kind of waterproof uh, no. Tupperware thing. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a splash. No. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's where we'll be premiering this video at the end of the month. And where you can watch the Threadless Freaker video where I used items from the dumpster to make the freak ray. And if you don't know what a freaker is, go freak yourself at freakerusa.com. If I did my job right, you should get it from the Threadless Freaker video. And next week's tutorial is about using style to mask technical limitations. I will see you then!